The future Anglo-Saxon Queen of England, Elfgifu, was born on an unknown date. She was the daughter of a woman named Ethelgifu. Elfgifu's father is unknown. We don't know any more than that about her family, except that she was a relative of her future husband, Edwig, and that she was possibly Mercian and possibly born to an important noble family. Not much is known about Elfgifu herself including when she may have been born or when she may have died. What we do know is that the 16-year-old Edwig, who had just become king of England, left his own coronation feast, and then was found in bed with Elfgifu and her mother, Ethelgifu, but was dragged back to the feast. King Edwig married Elfgifu not long after that little incident. Ethelgifu was an amazing mother and a very loyal friend to her daughter, even once Edwig, who was never beloved by his people, became increasingly unpopular, and Elfgifu became less liked along with him. Edwig's heir was his brother, Edgar the Peaceful, who was much more popular than him, so he was seen as a much better alternative. If Edwig and Elfgifu had a child, it would make Edwig much harder to overthrow because he had an heir. To prevent the birth of an heir, the unhappy nobles had Elfgifu's marriage annulled on the grounds of consanguinity, which meant that Elfgifu and Edwig were too closely related to marry. We don't know exactly how they were related, but they were probably distant cousins. Neither Elfgifu nor Edwig wanted the marriage annulled. In 959, Edwig died under suspicious circumstances, leaving the throne to his younger half-brother, Edgar. To learn more about him, you can watch my video about his second wife, Wolfthorith of Wilton. Elfgifu spent the rest of her life quietly staying out of her brother-in-law's way, and may have become a wealthy woman again. Elfgifu died sometime later, but we don't know exactly when.